Make sure you get a grown up to help you hit subscribe. That way, you won't miss out on any of the new videos that come out. Ozzy is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. G'day kids, Ozzy here. Today is a pretty special day for me because in this episode, we get to celebrate everything that is great about being an Aussie. On January 26th in Australia, we celebrate what is known as Australia Day. So today, I'm gonna to count down my top 10 things I love about Australia. And then we're gonna ask some Aussie kids what they love about this awesome country too. And finally, we'll finish with a fair income ripper of an Aussie book. This one is for all my true blue Aussie mates and it should be a beauty, so let's rip in. Let me just start by saying it was pretty hard to narrow down a top 10. There are just so many amazing things about this beautiful country. So I'm sorry to any of those I've left out, but here goes Aussie's favorites. Okay, coming in at number 10 are zoos and theme parks. Yep, I love them. And luckily Australia has plenty of amazing ones. A few of my favorites are Taronga Zoo, right on Sydney Harbour, and Taronga Western Plains Zoo in Dubbo, which has so much space in the exhibits for the animals to roam around just like they would in the wild. Pretty cool, hey? There's also Australia Zoo, created by the Aussie legend himself, Steve Irwin. Now some of the best theme parks in Australia, I think, are Dream World, Sea World, Movie World, and a good one for those who love to play in the water, is Wet n Wild. Then, of course, there's the iconic Luna Park, which is on Sydney Harbour and also in Melbourne. Have you been to one of these and had some fun before? Okay, coming in at number nine is sport. Aussies love their sports and so does this Aussie. There is nothing better than getting outside to run around, kick a footy with your mates, go for a swim or ride a bike. What sports do you love to play? Australia is often called a sporting nation because most of us just love it. We love to get out and play sports, but we also love to cheer on others, especially the professionals our favorite sporting teams, or of course, our national teams. Some of the most popular sports in Australia are cricket, AFL or Aussie rules, rugby league, rugby union, netball, basketball, golf, swimming, surf life-saving, and of course, surfing, which leads us nicely into number eight, beaches. Australia has some of the most beautiful beaches in the world. And because we're an island nation, we have plenty to choose from. Over 10,000 in fact. Our beaches are famous for the beautiful sand, which is just perfect for building sandcastles on. Do you like to build sandcastles? And some of our beaches are so long that you could walk all day and all night and still not reach the end. Some of our most famous beaches in Australia are Bondi, Surfer's Paradise, Bells, Whitehaven, Wineglass Bay, Cottesloe, Cable Beach, and Hyams, which I've been told has the whitest sand in the whole world. We certainly are very lucky. Okay, number seven on my list is Australian people. Australia is now made up of many, many different cultures and people from many different nations. But if you ask me, we generally seem like a friendly, happy bunch of people with a good sense of humor. And we love to support each other in tough times. Australia is sometimes hit with nasty bushfires and storms and floods, but communities always seem to come together during these tough times to support each other and help out where they can. And it's that attitude that makes me pretty proud to be an Aussie. Okay, number six on my list is Aussie slang. This means common things that us Aussies love to say. Things like, g'day mate, ripper, beauty, crikey, no worries, and She'll be right. Us Aussies are also famous for a good abbreviation, which means to shorten words. Like instead of saying afternoon, Aussies like to say Arvo. We even have an abbreviation for Australia. We often just say Australia. Other common ones are Barbie for barbecue, Defo for definitely, footy for football, or Servo for service station or petrol station. How about you try to say g'day to one of your friends next time you see them? Now into the top five. Coming in at number five is the best of Aussie entertainment. 
there are plenty of amazing Australian-born kids entertainment shows. A few of the classic that I love are Play School, Bananas in Pajamas, and then one from a little bit long ago is Round the Twist. That was an awesome show. And a few of the more recent shows that stand out are The Wiggles. Of course, they have so many amazing songs that I like to sing along to. And then a very recent one is Bluey. If you haven't heard of Bluey yet, do yourself a favor and check it out. For real life, it's a beauty. Okay, in fourth position is the best of the best of Aussie food. Now, who doesn't love to start the day with a piece of Vegemite toast? I know I do, it's a ripper brekkie. And some of my other favorite Aussie treats are Tim Tams, Lamingtons, and Pavlova. <laughs> Yummy! And for the main meal, there is nothing better than a classic meat pie and dead horse, which means a meat pie and tomato sauce. Well, actually, the only other thing that might be better is a good old Aussie barbecue. Throw on some lamb, some prawns, or just a plain old snag on a bread, which means a sausage on bread. Believe me, it's good tucker. Okay, we're down to the final three. So coming in the bronze medal position in Aussie's top 10 best things I love about Australia is our Aussie landmarks, of course. There is no better sight than flying in over the beautiful Sydney Harbour on a sensational sunny day and admiring the glorious Sydney Harbour Bridge and the magnificent Sydney Opera House. Some of our natural landmarks are just as impressive. Uluru is the giant rock located smack bang in the middle of Australia. It is a very special and sacred place for indigenous Aboriginal culture and it is an amazing sight to be seen. Another is the wondrous Great Barrier Reef located off the coast of Queensland. It is the biggest reef in the world and home to millions and millions of beautiful fish and marine life. And of course, the amazing Blue Mountains for its incredible scenery, super steep cliffs and the eucalyptus forests, which from a distance look blue. That's how it got its name. Now Australia is also famous for having lots of big icons. The big banana, the big pineapple, the big prawn, the big potato, and the big merino. And that's just to name a few. But one more iconic landmark that I want to mention is Melbourne's famous MCG, the Melbourne Cricket Ground, or simply the G, as it's affectionately known. The G is one of the biggest sporting grounds in the whole world. It can hold over 100,000 people. That is a lot of people. Now make sure that at least once in your life you get along to the G to watch a live sporting event. It's an amazing venue and an iconic Australian landmark. Now for number two. A very special part of Australia is our indigenous Aboriginal culture, which is in fact the oldest known civilization on earth. How cool is that? There are so many parts of this culture that continue to amaze me and leave me wanting to learn and see more. From the traditional smoking ceremony to the wonderful music and dance performances and the beautiful instruments such as the yiriki or the didgeridoo. The Aboriginal culture has given us iconic tools such as the boomerang and the Aboriginal art is definitely some of the most magical art that you will ever see. Make sure you take the time to learn more about this amazing culture. Okie doke kiddos, this brings us to number one. A drum roll please. The number one thing that I love about Australia is our animals. Australia definitely has some of the most unique, deadly, and just the coolest animals in the world. Let's start with the kangaroo, the koala, platypus, emu, and Tasmanian devils. Such unique, wonderful, and mostly cuddly animals. And now the not so cuddly ones, the deadly ones, snakes such as the tiger snake, death adder, eastern brown snake, and the inland taipan are the deadliest in the world. But we also have some dangerous spiders too. The wolf spider, redback spider, and funnel web spiders are some of the meanest. But be careful in the water too, because the super dangerous blue ringed octopus, the box jellyfish, and the great white shark also call Australia home. But my favorite would have to be the saltwater crocodile, the big salty, the biggest and most vicious croc in the world. These guys can grow up to six meters long. Wow. But kids, don't be scared. Yes, Australia does have some of the deadliest animals in the world, but it's good to know that just about all of them are more scared of you. 
than we are of them. They're often hard to find too, and will normally only become dangerous if they feel threatened. So you just need to keep your distance. The best place to check them out is at one of our amazing zoos. So get along and see Australia's incredible animals. Well, there you go, kids. That's it. I hope you enjoyed Aussie's top 10 things that I love about Australia. And I hope you learned lots of amazing things about this incredible country that I get to call home. Now, let's go along and hear from some young Aussies to tell us what they love about our amazing country too. Come on, let's go. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Aussie, 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 boy. Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. G'day kids, Aussie here. I'm pretty excited because today we've come down to a local kindy and we're gonna have a chat to some little Aussie kids about what they love about living in this amazing country right here in Australia. Let's tune in and see what they've got to say. Give me five kiddos. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining Aussie today to be on camera. Are you excited? How excited are you? So excited. Well, show me. <laughs> I like it. No! Whoa! <laughs> Do you know what country we live in? Australia. Australia. Riley, is that right? Do we live in Australia? I live in... I live in Australia too, but on my planet is Earth. Very good. Do you know what country we live in? Earth. We live in Earth, and your shirt says, I love Earth. But right in the middle, but the love heart is the shape of our country. Do you know what our country is on Earth? Australia. Australia. Good boy. And I'm on Earth too. You're on Earth too? That's lucky. We're all on Earth together. And we're all in Australia together, aren't we? Today we're talking all about the things that we love about the country we live in. Do you know where we live? Australia. Good boy. And do you love living in Australia? Yes. So do I. I love the weather that we get in Australia. I love going to the beach. I love kicking the footy with my mates. And I love, I love Aboriginal songs and Aboriginal dancing. What are some things that you like about Australia? Mm. The beach. Oh, you like the beach, do you? <laughs> what do you like doing at the beach? Uh, making sandcastles. Making sandcastles, that's one of my favorite things as well. Oh. I love going to the beach too. You love going to the beach. Is that what you love about Australia the most? And is that because we have beautiful beaches? Yeah. Do you know what your favourite beach is? Mm, the one where I always go to. That's right. That's my favourite too. My favourite beach is the one that I always go to. And it's the one that has sand. Yeah, I go to sand one too. Oh, so do I. And the one that has Waves? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. And do you ride a surfboard or a boogie board? I don't ride surfboard. We just go swimming in the water. Awesome. Leading Lamington. Leading Lamingtons. That's your favourite thing about Australia? Yeah. That's awesome because Lamingtons are one of Australia's best foods, aren't they? Yeah. And your food. And my food, yeah. Aussie's food. What other Australian foods do you like? Do you like sausage sandwiches? Do you like... Yeah, we have sausage sandwiches! Sausage sandwiches. Everyone loves a good sausage sandwich, don't they? Yeah. We have some pretty good Australian food here in Australia. Some of my favourites are meat pies. A meat pie and dead horse. You know what a meat pie and dead horse is? Oh, yeah. Meat pie and sauce, isn't it? Oh, I thought it was a dead horse. No, it's just Aussie slang for sauce. What's your favourite Aussie food? Mm. Cake. Cake. Australian cake, like pavlova. Fraser, what's your favourite Australian food? Veggie mite sandwich. A veggie mite sandwich, a classic. And then when you start going to school, to big school, what are you going to have for lunch every day? Veggie mite sandwich. 
What's your favourite Aussie food? Vegemite and peanut butter. Vegemite and peanut butter? Together? No, you don't. Really? I'm going to have to try that one day. That sounds pretty interesting, pretty funky, and you love it. I love Vegemite. You love Vegemite, do you? Sausage sizzle. Sausage sizzle. That's such an Australian food, isn't it? And do you have sauce on your sausage sizzle? Uh, yeah. Now, are you one a... One day here, we eat one for lunch. You had one for lunch. Now, are you a tomato sauce or a barbecue sauce kind of guy? Uh, both. You're not. You have tomato sauce and barbecue sauce together on your sausage banger. Yeah. Wow. I have a tomato sauce. You're a tomato sauce man? I just have tomato sauce. Just tomato sauce, yeah. I like tomato sauce too. What's your favourite Australian animal? Uh, platypus. A platypus. Have you ever seen a platypus in the wild? No, they're hard to see in the wild, aren't they? Yeah, because they live under the water. They do. Do you guys know what some of our awesome Australian animals are? What's your favourite? Kangaroo. Kangaroo, that's one of my favourites too. Me too. Is it? What else do we have? We have wombats. Do you know any other Australian animals? A koala. Koala. Good boy. I love koalas. Do you like snakes and spiders? Yeah. Uh, I like snakes. You like the snakes? Uh, I like snakes that are never bite. Snakes that never bite you. Well, most snakes don't bite you if you just keep away from them, hey. We have lots of dangerous snakes in Australia, but if you keep your distance, they don't hurt you. Yeah. Yeah. What's your favourite Australian animal? A snake. A snake? Wow, like a red belly black snake or a brown snake. We have lots of snakes that live just in Australia, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, so you boys like spiders and snakes. Sometimes they're a little bit scary, but snakes and spiders are okay if you just keep your distance, aren't they? Just keep away from them, don't touch them. Tasmanian devil. Tasmanian devil. And emu. Emu. And the cuddly soft one that sits on the tree and eats eucalyptus leaves. Oh, kookaburra is a good Australian animal, but that cuddly, little, fluffy one that sits on the tree. I don't remember Ko that one. Koala. Koala. What's your favourite TV show? Emma Wiggle. Emma Wiggle. Do you love the Wiggles? Yeah. What's your favourite Australian show? Star Wars. Oh, Star Wars. I wish that was Australian. Wiggle. You like the Wiggles? I love the Wiggles too. Who doesn't love the Wiggles? Fra and, and, and Bluey. Bluey. Like Bluey. You like Bluey? I love Bluey. Thank you. Bluey and Wiggles, two of my favourites. Bluey. Bluey. I've heard about this show. Do you love Bluey? Yeah. I love Bluey too. You love Bluey. What is on your hat? Aboriginal flag. That's a beautiful hat, isn't it? You and Daddy are Aboriginal. Very good. And what's your favourite thing about Aboriginal culture? Do you love the music and it's the dancing? You like the Aboriginal music. Can you play a musical instrument? An Aboriginal musical instrument. What can you play? The big long. A didgeridoo. Good boy. And do you know what a didgeridoo is called in Aboriginal language? A yidiki. Do you know what colour? There's three colours. Do you know what three colours are on the Aboriginal flag? No. Yellow, black, red. <gasps> Give me five, buddy. That's awesome. Yellow, black, red. And do you love learning about Aboriginal culture and seeing the Aboriginal dancing and the Aboriginal music? Yeah. yeah. In Australia, we have some funny ways to speak, don't we? <laughs> we do. We say things like, G'day, mate, and she'll be right, and we say, Hooroo. So what are your favourite Aussie sayings? And say, G'day, Aussie. G'day, Aussie. G'day, Aussie. Is that your favourite saying? 
G'day Aussie. G'day Aussie. Can you say g'day mate? G'day mate. Good boy. And can you say crikey? Crikey. <laughs> and can you say she'll be right? She'll be right. Do you know what she'll be right means? No. It means it'll be okay. She'll be right. Yeah. So if you fall over and hurt yourself and you get up and just go, ah, she'll be right. G'day mate. G'day mate. Good boy Lockie, can you say g'day mate? G'day mate. G'day mate. And we say ripper. You say ripper? Ripper. Ripper. And you beauty. You beauty. You know what you beauty means? It means something's good. Would you ever say to your friend, G'day, mate? Nah. I'm gonna say my mum, I'm gonna say that to my mum. Ah, uh, yeah? Are you gonna go home and say, G'day, mum? <laughs> I think she'll love that. <laughs> and then when you go, when you leave, when she drops you off at preschool, you can say, Cheerio. <laughs> That would be funny, wouldn't it? And when she picks you up and she says, how was your day? And you can say, it was a beauty, mum. <laughs> Do you think that this chat has been a beauty of a chat? Yes. Give me five and say, beauty. 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 <laughs> Good boys, thank you so much. Did you have fun? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Aussie, 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 oi Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine G'day kids, Aussie here. Now how good was that meeting those awesome little Aussie kids from the local kindy and learning about what makes Australia great and what they love about this awesome country. Now one of the things that I love, my number one on the top 10 things that I love about Australia was the Aussie animals. So I thought why not read a good book about Aussie animals and this one's called Somewhere in Australia. Somewhere in Australia. And it's by Marcello Panaccio and illustrated by Danny Snell. Somewhere in Australia, in a land of scorching sun, lived a mother kangaroo and her little Joey, one. Hop, said the mother. I hop, said the one, as they hopped over land scorched by the hot sun. These awesome kangaroos. It's a native animal which is only found here in Australia and look at how they get around hopping on their two back legs. Such a cool animal. In the centre of Australia, near a place called Uluru, lived a mother kookaburra and her little chicks, two. So there was one kangaroo on the previous page, two kookaburras here. Maybe on the next page we might see three of the next animal. Laugh, said the mother. We laugh, said the two, as they laughed and they flew over a rock called Uluru. Do you remember learning about Uluru earlier in the video? That's right, it's the big rock right smack bang in the middle of Australia, and it's got lots of cultural importance to Aboriginal Australians. It's an awesome rock. On the east coast of Australia, in a river flowing out to sea, lived a mother platypus and her platy pups Three, that's right, it comes after two, doesn't it? Swim, said the mother. We swim, said the three, as they swam in a river that flowed out to the sea. There's our platypops. One, two, three. In Australia's Apple Isle, on a rainforest floor, lived a mother Tassie devil and her little devils. Four, good job kids. Growl, said the mother. We growl, said the four, as they growled and they foraged on a rainforest floor. These awesome Tassie devils. On the mainland of Australia, where gum trees grow and thrive, lived a mother dingo and her dingo pups. Five. Howl, said the mother. We howl, said the five, as they howled and they played 
where gum trees grow and thrive. These big trees here, they're called gum trees and they're native to Australia as well, which means they're only found here in Australia. And to howl means to go how, and that's what you hear the dingo is doing. At the top end of Australia, in a land of spinifex, lived a mother death adder and her little snakes six. Slither, said the mother, we slither, said the six, as they slithered and they hid in among the spinifex. That's this stuff, that's the bush. In the outback of Australia, where nothing much is living, sat a mother thorny devil and her little lizards, seven. Bask, said the mother, we bask, said the seven, as they basked and they sunned, where nothing much is living. Because in the outback of Australia, there's just a lot of red dirt, not much trees and not many animals. And that's where these guys live, because they can survive the hot sun and actually really enjoy the hot sun. And that's what bask means. It means to lay out and enjoy the sun beating down. On the west coast of Australia, where the grass trees flower late, lived a mother emu and her little chicks eight. Run, said the mother. We run, said the eight, as they ran and they pecked where the grass trees flower late. These guys here, they're all known as grass trees. And look at all these beautiful baby chicks, little emus. In the Blue Mountains of Australia, near a Wollamai pine, lived a mother green frog and her little froglets, nine. Jump, said the mother. We jump, said the nine, as they jumped and they leaped near a Wollamai pine. This is the tree, the Wollamai pine, and look at these frogs leaping and jumping through the air. Along Australia's southern shores, on a wattle tree stem, lived a mother redback spider and her little spiders, ten. Hunt, said the mother. We hunt, said the ten, as they hunted for their quarry on a wattle tree stem. And this is the wattle tree and the big wattle tree leaves. And look at these ten little redback spiders scattered around. We don't touch redback spiders, do we? Because they are quite dangerous. But like all these dangerous insects and animals, if we keep our distance, they won't hurt us. All across Australia, in the dreams of little sleepy ones, are sand and sea, bush and desert, the land of the scorching sun. The land of the scorching sun is what Australia is often called because we have lots of wide open land and the sun is often beating down really hot. So there you go kids, some of my favourite Australian animals in that book. Did you learn a few new animals or did you see some of your favourites in this book? I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned lots about our awesome country and what makes Australia great. Kids, I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you on our next one. Until then, stay keen. Make sure you get a grown up to help you hit subscribe. That way you won't miss out on any of the new videos that come out. And did you happen to find the hidden Aussie icon in that video? Make sure you look really closely because they're in every single video. And we'll see you again soon. Until then, stay keen. Don't forget to follow Aussie on our social channels at Aussie for Kids. Feel free to send us some ideas on what you want to learn about next. What sports you'd like to play, jobs you want Aussie to feature, vehicles you're fascinated with, or any subjects you'd like to know more about. I'm just as keen as you, so together, let's learn more. And if you've got any friends that you think might like Aussie, don't forget to tell them too. See you next time, kids. Until then, stay keen. Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend of yours.